did it again. That's your third hit in a row. Yeah. Tonight may be my night, Goldie. Put it all on 20 to 1. Yancy. Yancy. Yancy, listen. Hello, Jody. It's the Sultana. She's in trouble. She, she came in at the levee under full steam and, and blowing her whistle. And, and she was flying her pennant upside down and, and shooting off her signal gun. Joker, you lose. Take it off, Pearl Girl. Thank you, Jody. Bye, Goldie. The administrator. Good night, Gantz. Yancy, I'm glad I found you. It's the Sultana. What happened, Mr. Cole? River pirates jumped her. You better come along. Look all right. Where's Captain Tom? Well, they took him off with the passengers and took him to the hospital. What happened? It was river pirates, Yancey. They boarded us and took us apart. They would have batted me, too, except somebody had a steer. Keep talking. Their leader was a girl named Coco. Kind of pretty, too, when she wasn't sticking a pistol in my ribs. She must have come aboard up river, like a passenger. Go ahead. Well, then she knocks old Sam Cole down in the boiler room, ties down the escape valve, and we lose a full head of steam. What then, Willie? Well, then the whole gang boarded us, like Pismires, climbing over a bowl of sugar. Captain Tom gave him an argument. And ran into a club. Then they robbed the passengers, and they took all the cargo they could carry, and they stole the mails from St. Louis. Good heavens, I'm ruined. Why? If they took the mails... Well, they yes, took it... everything that wasn't nailed down, including two dollars I won from Captain Tom at Casino. Well, what about my new shirts? Them too, Yancey. Yancey, we've got to see Captain Fry's in your cabin. It's the head of your Secret Service doing a bullet. That'll be obvious in a moment. Well, this is embarrassing, Captain Fry. Sorry, sir. Bad luck. Bad luck? Captain, it's a disaster. Did they take the necklace? No, sir. It's in there. Mind letting me on your little secret, Mr. Colton? After all, I am the owner of this mortgage vessel. I don't know what to say. You might start with a necklace. Looks like it's worth a fortune. Unfortunately, it isn't. Paste? Two hundred dollars worth. It's a replica. A replica of the one the Empress Carlotta had when Mexico overthrew Emperor Maximilian last year. Where's the real one? Over on Frenchman's Island by now. I'm afraid you're losing me, Mr. Colton. The United States was fortunate enough to intercept the real necklace when it was being smuggled abroad to Carlotta. We informed the Mexican government, made plans to deliver it back to them since they are the rightful owners. Seems fair enough. I had the replica made up in St. Louis, sent Captain Fry along to accompany it to New Orleans. I had the real one shipped by ordinary mail. <laughs> Lady Pirate didn't take the bait. Bait? She came in here, took one look at it, scratched it, smiled, and told me to keep it for the administrator as a souvenir. It's catastrophic. An official of the Mexican government is meeting me in my office in three days to accept the necklace. I'll go to Frenchman's Island and try to get it back, sir. No, Captain. They'll kill you. Dead. Not a chance. Yancey's right. I'll have to send in a small army. Well, what'll they fight? The pirates will just melt into the swamps. I've got to get that necklace back. If I don't, there'll be international repercussions. Well, there must be some way. Well, I can't promise anything, gentlemen, but I just might get my hands on your necklace when I uh, pick up my shirts. Did you say shirts? Mr. Colton, I ordered those shirts in St. Louis three months ago. And I'm going to wear one of them at the Comos Ball during Mardi Gras. Pirates or no pirates? But you just said they'd kill us on sight. You, Captain. Not me. You see, I've met the Lady Pirate. They called her Coco. That's right. I met her a year ago during Mardi Gras. She had the nerve to visit New Orleans. Mr. Colton, all the outlaws come to New Orleans during the Mardi Gras. Everyone wears masks. That's right, sir. She extended an invitation to visit Frenchman's Island. 
I'm afraid that tonight I'll just have to accept. I'll be right back, Captain. Yancy! I'm going with you. Tired of living? That's unimportant. This is a matter of high state. My own career is at stake. I'm responsible. Well, you know what'll happen if those Frenchies get their hands on the administrator. They need to know I'll go in disguise. It may get rough, Mr. Cole. Well, I may get rough too, Mr. Derringer. See you in an hour. I'll be here. Wish I could lose the feeling that we're heading into a gun barrel. They wouldn't kill us on sight. Now, Coco. Now. Coco! It's Yancey Derringer! Don't shoot. It's Yancey Derringer. It was. So much as looks at you, I will kill him. Oh, shut up. It's my pleasure, mademoiselle. Sorry if I offended you. Oh, you didn't offend me. I'll tell you when to kiss me. When I do, it won't be on the hand. If you touch her again, monsieur... Shut up. What are you doing in Frenchman's Island? Well, I came here to get my new shirts back. Well, that might be kind of hard to do. Well, you did invite me once. Remember? Oh, yes. I remember. Who's he? Well, that's Black John. That's my Pawnee friend, Pahukatiwa. Wolf who stands in water. Wasn't doing much standing in the water a few minutes ago. All right. You take that trail. And you stay on it. Yes, ma'am. aren't very friendly, are they? Well, we don't get much chance over here with a bounty on our heads. Pierre, you take the Indian to your cabin, get him some dry clothes, and take, uh, Black, uh... Black John. <laughs> Black John there, too. What about this one? Oh, well, uh, I'll take care of him. Coco, you're pressing me too far. Oh, Pierre, now do as you're told. Yancy. Just take it easy, Black John. That's, uh, that's real good advice, Black John. You just take it easy and uh, you won't get hurt. Pierre, you treat those two as guests. Or I'll treat you to a rope. Well, you know, I didn't know that pirates lived so, um, so well. <laughs> it's a salvage. Things I uh, picked up from the river. They floated right into the cove of Frenchman's Island. Everything from Port Hudson southward floats in here. Of course, if a boat sinks... By accident. Things would be pretty lean if we depended on accidents. We have to kind of give nature a helping hand. Like the Sultana? Mm-hmm. Take your clothes off. You're not going to stand around in those wet things, are you? I'm not going to stand around without them. <laughs> Pierre will give you something to wear. Not one of my new shirts. It was. I've been waiting for three months for those shirts to arrive from St. Louis. And I'm going to wear one of them. I'd like to wear one of them to the Comus Ball Tuesday night. I'll pay you for it. If I gave him to you, Pierre might kill you. He's very jealous. Matter of fact, you better get out of here. Out? Well, if he caught you gawking at me while I was changing into something pretty, he, uh, he might cut you to ribbons. You can change outside. I'll tell you when you can come back. <laughs> Yancey, I only give orders once. 
Yes, ma'am. You know you're quite a girl. Uh-huh. She says that you have to give me some of your clothes. Why waste clothes on a dead man? Never mind, Tick-Tock. Well, all right, they're your clothes. If you want blood on them. Benny. You can come in now. Coco. Not you, Pierre. Excuse me. the necklace. You? All right. And you can kiss me. Now. You can order men around, but uh, not kisses. On this island, everybody does as I tell them. Oh. Well, Coco, if I have to kiss you, it doesn't mean anything. On the other hand, games with a dangerous animal like that. <laughs> oh, he's just in love with me, and sometimes it makes him very foolish. It's his friend Tick-Tock I'm worried about. He's not in love with me. Well, I think we'd better be leaving. Where are we going? You really came for this necklace, didn't you? Coco, that necklace is more important diplomatically than it is economically. It belongs to the Republic of Mexico. I know, I know all that. You want it back, don't you? Yes. Well, this is the way you get it. You're taking me to New Orleans. To the Comus Ball. What? Before the war, I used to stand in the gutter and watch you enter the Comus Ball at the Opera House. Saw the beautiful ladies on your arm. Smell their perfume. Touch their satin gowns. And I said to myself, Coco... Someday, you're going to go to the Comus Ball with a fine gentleman. You're going to be dressed as a queen. And your gentleman is going to treat you like a great lady. Now that time's come, because you see, that's the price. Coco, if you wear the necklace of the Empress Carlotta to the Comus Ball, the agents of two countries will nab you. You'll be in prison. You'll get me safely in and out. Nobody will harm me. Because if they do, Yancey, something might happen to the administrator. Meaning? <laughs> your, um, your friend, Black John, I know who he is. He stays here. So does the Indian. And if I don't get back, well, uh, <laughs> Black John, he may not get back either. All right, Coco. You've got my word. Wait for me outside. I'll change. Don't forget my shirt. Where are you going? You know, over the river. I think this plan is madness. Let me go with you. No. Now, you put the Indian and uh, Black John in there, and you watch him. Because if they get away, I might not get back. God, her well, monsieur. Or you will see me again. That's encouragement enough. After you. Allez, entrez. Come on, Paul. Is 
Did she take the necklace with her? That is no business of yours. Part of that necklace is mine. Coco gives the orders. You obey them. Not me, friend. Not anymore. <laughs> Sultana. See, Doc, she doesn't leave till Friday. It's the safest place in town. Hurry up, Yancey. Sure you're not going to be overdressed for the occasion? I'll pick you up at 8 o'clock for the ball. Don't be late. I got your note. Shouldn't let this out of my hands. I know it's fake, but it's Mr. Colton's responsibility. I'll have the real ones in your hands before midnight. Where? The Comos Ball, the Opera House. You'll be there? I'll be there. Thank you. going to pay for it, Yancey. As soon as you stole somebody's ball. Oh. oh. How can you say a thing like that? Jody, I want you to do a job for me. Oh. I want you to steal something. Steal? The necklace of the Empress Colada of Mexico. Mm hmm? Tonight at the Comus Ball at the Opera House. Mm hmm? I'll be dancing with a young lady. Mm hmm? She'll be wearing these. Oh, uh, let me touch him, Yance. L l let me feel him. They're cold, Jody. It's paste. She'll be wearing the real ones. There are real ones. And just before midnight, I want you to make the switch. Bring the real ones to me at Madame Francine's. The job is worth $200. Absolutely, Yancey. You can trust me. Nancy, you sure look pretty. You look absolutely beautiful. Ready? No. The truth is, I'm kind of scared. I gave you my word. Oh, it's not that. It, it's just... Well, it, it's being a lady and everything. Coco, you are a lady. It sounds as if you mean that. I do. I brought your mask. Try it on. <laughs> you look like an angel. After you, my husband. Pahu, we've got to get out of here. What the devil are you doing? Call the guard? Guard? Someone!
having fun? Oh, wonderful. I used to be mad because I was born a girl instead of a boy, but never again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my necklace. I'm so sorry. Here it is. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, now, wait a minute. I'm not doing anything. Oh, I am. I'm arresting you. I'm putting this, this female freebooter under arrest. Just a moment. I made her a promise of amnesty. And you promised her something you had no right to. She's not going to get away with it. Lieutenant! Put this man under arrest, Lieutenant. He just tried to rob this young lady of her necklace. Now, I know he's a thief, but he keeps babbling about being the administrator of New Orleans. He's probably out of his mind as well. What the devil do you think you're doing, Yancey Derringer? Keep your hands off me, Lieutenant. Oh, no. No, you don't, Yancey. I'm warning you, Lieutenant. I am the administrator. Oh, I can just see the administrator of New Orleans running around like a pirate. Probably is a pirate. Probably. You know, they always come to New Orleans, the Mardi Gras. You're coming with me, mister. Lieutenant, put him in a calaboose. I'll be down to prefer charges just as soon as I take the young lady home. My name is Derringer. Yes, Mr. Derringer. All right, now come along peacefully, or you'll get a pistol barrel wrapped around your skull. Yancey, I'll have your neck for this. You idiot, let go of me. I didn't steal the necklace. That woman is a river pirate. You, you idiot, let go of me. Well, Captain, Mr. Colton has been a terrible mistake. I'll get you out. Find me, Yancey Derringer. Here I am, Mr. Administrator. Hello, Jody. That was a beautiful job. I assume you let the young woman get away. Oh, yes, I have. Mr. Barker here is innocent of theft. He stole the necklace for me. He may have stolen the necklace for you, but he stole my wallet for himself. He stays. Jody. Have you got the necklace, Captain? Yes, sir, right here. Thank heavens. Mr. Derringer, you have done this country and me a tremendous service. But, at the same time, you have subjected me to an extremely humiliating experience. That's right, Mr. Derringer, make yourself at home, because that is what this cell is going to be for you for a long time to come. Oh, well, Jody, Mardi Gras over. It's the beginning of Lent. I have to give up something for Lent. Might as well be liberty, huh, Jody? To you, I ain't speaking. 